Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's Sacramel School. One of the most frequently asked questions by beginners and experienced nail techs is why does the gel polish peel off? If you have encountered such a problem, then stay with us. In this video, we will examine all the possible causes and namely 25 causes of gel polish lifting. Of course, the first thing to start with is the lack of a clean manicure or a leftover pterygium. Pterygium is a transparent pellicle that continues the cuticle. The coating doesn't have a strong bonding with the natural nail and therefore it peels off. Reason number two is a not carefully polished nail plate. There shouldn't be any shiny areas on the surface of the nail. Check your nail files. Abrasiveness for natural nail is 180 to 140 grit. The third reason is the dust remaining from nail processing. Dust clogged under the cuticle and the side sinuses, and the gel polish simply does not fit fully to the nail plate. Are you using a dust brush? It's a very important tool, or you're still blowing on the client's nails. Reason number four is a not degreased or poorly degreased nail plate. It all depends on its type. If it is dry, strong, and is not peeling, then even if you don't degrease, nothing critical happens, and vice versa. If the nails are problematic, then this step can't be ignored. A degreaser dries the nail plate and lifts up the nail scales, improving the bonding. Reason number five, the client touches their nails after degreasing. They seem to do it on purpose. This action leads to forming a lipid pellicle on the surface of the nail. The nails are fattened and the bonding worsen. Number six is a thick layer of a primer. Apply a thin layer. Bring out the brush and wait for the material to dry. The seventh point is breaking the technology of gel polish application. Did you happen to have mixed up the base and the top coat and it worked nicely? Give this video a thumbs up if yes. The eighth reason is the quality of the material. In order to save up, you may purchase a poor quality product or a fake. You don't know for sure how such cotton will last. Reason number nine is the wrong gel polish application. Too much material on the sides causes lifting. The coating of the entire perimeter of the nail plate should be thin and even. Problem number 10, the base leaking into the sinuses and under the cuticle. Remember, leakage equals lifting. The 11th point is when the gel polish is poured under the nail plate when sealing the free edge. In the process of wearing, the coating will rise from moisture, which will lead to chipping. Reason number 12 is a wet material. When we take too much gel polish and in the process of polymerization, the gel polish wrinkles. Reason number 13 is a not enough powerful lamp. Put the small tube lamps and all UVs aside. Modern gel polishes are intense in pigment, so I recommend buying a new generation hybrid lamp. Its power must start from 48 watts. The 14th reason is redoing the nail at the final stage. If your coverage was aligned, then this is not so critical. But if the coating was thin, I recommend sealing the ends with the gel polish. 15th problem, weak peeling nails. Often the coating peels off along with the part of the natural plate, not because you did something wrong, but because of the structure of the nail. On such clients, you can use an IBX system which glues the layers of the nail plate together. The 16th reason, over filing the nail plate with the nail file. You shouldn't work intensively with a buff or a nail file because the thinner the nails are, the worse the cutting is. The nail becomes flexible. The gel polish can't follow all of its bends and lifts. Also, thinning with a nail file or a nail drill causes lifting in the side sinuses. We should work on the skin, not the nail. Number 17. A removal by soaking of the nails. If you keep your nails in an acetone-containing liquid for a long time, they begin to curl. And if you lift up the coating too much, then the nails can become thinner. 18th problem. Poorly remove previous gel polish. More and more nail tags remove the gel polish using the nail drill. But they leave those small white pockets. And this exact old coating causes the new peel-offs. The 19th reason is the old coating and its shrinkage. 
The coating doesn't look as perfect as at the beginning. There is roughness appears and some peel-offs occur. Reason number 20. An excessive free edge length. Especially when the coating has been already worn for a long time. The tip becomes heavier, there is more pressure on it and the raw liftings in the cuticle area. Other reasons include mechanical damage, peeling the gel polish off, hyperhidrosis of the hands or high humidity, and the type of the client's occupation. For people who spend a lot of time in the water or wear gloves, the coating lasts shorter. Other reasons are taking antibiotics or certain diseases. The material can live both in the cuticle area or on the free edge. If you saw a lift near the cuticle, then in 90% of cases it indicates a technician's mistake. I really hope that you will avoid them now. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, good luck and bye-bye!